It's not easy coming back from the dirt and washing yourself off and making a sculpture out of that mud mess that I had before. I've been molded. I had a wonderful childhood growing up, but I was molested when I was little. You know, those young years, you don't realize how much they have an effect on you. Coming up, starting drugs early. When I was in high school, I used to smoke weed every day, drink beer every day, until I got hooked on heroin. And my life just spiraled out of control. Being a mother, not taking care of my children the way I'm supposed to, I fell short in my ego. My pride got in the way. I didn't even want to look in the mirror. I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. So I stopped looking. But uh, I gave myself a chance. August 25th, 2014 is the last day I used drugs. It was just another day of me using. But something said, today is the day you're going. And then I got a pamphlet and I saw a veterans program. It was a Samaritan Village pamphlet. And I took it to the counselor and said, I want to go here. So they came and picked me up September 5th. I've been a part of Samaritan Village ever since. I told you from the very first time that I saw you that you were destined for greatness. I mean, come on, you a vet. You know, who can go and, and, and serve our country and, and fight for our country if they don't have tenacity and, and, and strength and willpower? True. So I knew you had it in you. Yes. You know, I just had to pull it out of you. Yes, you did. You just had to pull it out of you. When I get out the bed, before I, my feet hit the ground, I thank God for waking me up another day and blessing me with this gift of life. I walk to the bus stop and um, I go to work. Working for Samaritan Village at the Young Mothers Program, it brings me joy because when I walk through the door, they start calling my name. Someone needs me. And what they need from me, I have. And it feels so good to be able to give it. And money can't buy it. It's not the paycheck that gets me up every day. It's the women who need somebody to help them. What I think is important about people like us whose challenge is to overcome this addiction is it puts us in a position to play a very meaningful and important role in helping people I agree. recover their lives. I agree. I'm glad I married you. I'm glad you married me too. Aren't you, you happy? I'm, saying, I'm very happy because I'm telling you, you give me the inspiration I need to keep moving. You know, I watch you, I see you, how you be ready to get up out of here in the morning. You don't miss a day of work. You love what you're doing. I have a feeling that I don't even, I can't even describe. That's how good it feels. I was so angry with me for so many years. Um, and I didn't forgive myself. I was angry because I wasn't a mother all the time that I should have been. I was angry because I, I used drugs while I was pregnant and it affected my children. My daughter, she saw that I was hurt and she just wanted me to feel better and to be there for me and to love me. I've never looked at you any, t any different way. I admire you, you're smart, you're resilient, you're caring, you're strong. You are my world and no matter what, from any point on you, I love you. It's just, I'm always here for you. And I thank you for never giving up on me. Because you know me from the beginning, the middle, and this part. And I'm so glad to be able to show you me again. Hi. Hey. These are my grandsons. I love you so much. I love you too. I am new and improved. There's a new creature that's here. And I look at me today, and I like what I see. I'm a better mother to my children. I'm a better daughter to my mother. The little girl inside of me is talking now, and she's beginning to heal. <laughs>